every woman, I believe, like, felt unsafe all night at least once in her life. All the comments are harassment and hate. A lot of violent gendered commentary that was directed at me um, and also threatened my life. She told me, please tell me how do I uh, like get back my Facebook account? Uh, can I like delete the pictures? What can he do with the pictures? They reached also my house, my university. They got uh, the contacts of my mother. Can يعني add my phone to his. بيفتح the camera. بي زي ما قلت بي record videos. بي خد صور. Somebody is actually moved a picture of you on some porn video that you are not even aware of, because you refused a guy's advance. It was scary. I felt so bad that my dad might be reading this and they will feel like being in the spotlight is what brought upon us this kind of comments. للأسف للأسف كانت نهايتها إنها قتلت ب ب يعني بحجة الشرف وما إلى ذلك. Why a woman has to be bullied, to be harassed, to be abused, stalked everywhere when she goes, either offline and online. Why? Just... Why? So this is the start of this global campaign that we're trying to host to figure out how can we solve this? How can we build tools to curb how pervasive this situation is? Throughout the duration of this hackathon, these 35 women from across 15 countries are coming together and they're hacking and they're thinking about ways in which they can build solutions for women's safety online. You're going to hear from experts and our goal is that all of you will really think through some tech-based solutions, being as creative as possible and working together to think about what things we might be able to do to stop this so that the online world is more safe for women. When you bring together a room of women who have been directly impacted by a challenge, who also have the tools to solve for it, I think really powerful things can happen. We've been doing some brainstorming and we have so many interested ideas. One of the things is how to bring privacy to machine learning, how to preserve the data, how to preserve the anonymity of someone. But I want to think about how to not help the person who is a person, but how to help the person who is a person. Since we got here, we're walking, even when we got to the hotel, we're still walking. So that's what made me feel that we're gonna do it. We're getting there. We'll do something great. Cyberpsychology is a new discipline that studies the impact of uh, the technology on human. She will uh, be depressed and stop work, uh, stop studying if she is a student. Women uh, commit suicide. The woman doesn't feel herself safe and will not find people encouraging her or helping her. Think about how to make families aware that if they see something on internet about their family or their uh, children, they should not believe. It has a very big impact on their mental health. Like uh, for me, it was just one night, but for, for other women, it could go to depression. Maybe they will not be no longer uh, like active on social media. <laughs> تلاقي بقى عصبية على طول بتزع تعاملها مش كويس ده نتك ستريس معين وهكذا يعني. How many of you have been harassed online? How many of you wrote a tweet and thought really hard about whether you should publish that tweet? So I get this question a lot. If you don't want to be harassed online, don't be online. But then they will tell you why there is not enough content created by women in technology. And then they will ask you why there is not enough women in technology. Well, guess what? In order for us to be in technology, we, not to, we need to feel safe online to learn this technology, right? The woman should share her experience. When she shares her experience, so others will do the same. All the persons who want really to harm her or harm any woman will then think many times before they do this behavior. People shared how, like Deep Nude, for example, how people try to put things together so that make you feel that it's real, but it's not real. Telling my personal stories, it meant a lot for me. And hearing women's stories, it's like taking a rock 
from me. It was so heavy on me. I think by sharing my stories, uh, more women will be also inspired to be uh, cautious and aware. And that's when I just hit back and I hit back and I hit back and um, the more we educate ourselves, the more stronger and aware that we are. My message here is not to break down. My message is to hit back. I'm really amazed on the strength of those women and how they put themselves vulnerable by sharing their stories and they, how much excited they were about, wow, someone is talking about this finally. You start to break at the stereotypes, right? And this narrative of, you know, it's a woman's fault and that we shouldn't be online. And if you put your photo online, you deserve it, right? Like it's shifting that narrative to really showing that we deserve to be online. We deserve to be safe and we have every right to act how we want to act without having to experience violence for that. From the start, everyone had ideas and tips and tactics that they used in their own life to protect themselves, but also ideas that they had been thinking about, right? That they were like, oh, I wish I had this tool, or I wish I could have done this when this happened to me. Do not share your confidential information. Be cautious enough not to click on the link. Our comments can be classified as harassment. So let's all start with ourselves. فنصيحتي للصبايا إنه مش كل إشي ممكن إنه يتم نشره على السوشيال ميديا. Take a step back and check: Is this person I know and can be trusted with? Talk about the problem and to raise awareness in their environments. It's okay to feel bad when you read a bad comment. Don't let anyone undermine what you feel. And if someone bad happens, I think the solution is to go to the police, especially that this problem can go from online to real life. I want to move that to my country and tell all the girls what I've learned here. And I really want my solution to be something that can be implemented in real life so I can continue to work on it. They're going to take this hackathon idea and model and bring it into their own cities, into their own communities across the Middle East and North Africa, which means we're going to get hundreds of ideas. And these are all opportunities and tools and tactics that we could then spread and amplify across the globe. My hope is I have a hundred ideas. And those hundred ideas, can we get 20 startup initiated from that? I think for me, that would be a success. I want um, the young females who are online to be safe enough to chase their dreams, to go learn artificial intelligence, machine learning, so many beautiful things that are happening out there. And I don't want this to hold them back because this negative thing can stay back and mar you from reaching your potential. Never stop dreaming and never stop doing what you want to do. If we all felt safer online, we will have more real tech content creator who are women. We will have content that's driven by empathy more than just facts. We will have content that is really addressed to the right people, including women, not excluding them. You know, I know that this is a hard challenge. I know we're not going to be able to solve it overnight. But I'm also very optimistic in the sense that I believe in a world where we don't have to experience violence. Like I, I've existed in spaces where there has been pure joy, right? And I felt fully safe. And, I, and that feeling of being able to be fully myself in all parts of my identity is a small example of hope that that could exist because it does exist. This is about one, beginning to start to minimize the level of violence that exists but working towards that world where really there isn't violence that faces women online.